11 festivals. And uh, I think that, that this is a great uh, honor. Uh, it's been quite some time since we've had something where we've honored the athletes performing over a number of years in festivals. So I'm happy to be involved in this. And uh, I want to say to you, Paul, as invited guests, welcome. And we're glad that you were able to make it this evening. The 2010 representation for these games was certainly Vancouver at the Winter Games, and Delhi for the Commonwealth Games, and Singapore for the Youth Olympics. In 2011, the Isle of Man for the third Youth Commonwealth Games, and Guadalajara for the Pan American Games, which recently completed. And of course, we've got uh, great possibilities for 2012, which is the London Olympics. So I want to say to the Olympic Association, well done. Could you give them a round of applause, please? Good evening, everyone. Season's greetings to you. I wish you all a very blessed, safe, and happy holiday season, and particularly a better 2012 than 2011, regardless of how good 2011 may have been for some of us. I'm honored to join you this evening as we pay homage to our island's elite and top performing athletes who competed on the world stage in the year 2010-2011. When I think about your journey to become outstanding sportsmen and sportswomen, to compete with some of the world's greatest athletes, I must admit I feel a little bit of awe and adoration. Um, all of that discipline, all of that focus, all of that commitment, all of that sacrifice is just unbelievably commendable of you. But you know what it takes to excel and to be at your best when you are in competition. In closing, let me warmly commend your courageous efforts to persevere, and I encourage all of you as deserving athletes to continue epitomizing the best we have to offer the world in the realm of sports. Bermuda, tonight, salutes you, the athletes. Thank you. Daniel, um, I think it would be remiss to say that I thought it was important that the Olympic Association look after our Commonwealth and our Olympic athletes, our national sports governing representatives, because it's you who make Bermuda stand out proud. Uh, it's a shame we couldn't invite everybody here, but We've had a phenomenal couple of years. We've had excels in Tyrone, the first qualifier for the Olympics, uh, through CAC and the world. Roy Allen Birch not only uh, qualified for his swimming, but he's done it twice in a phenomenal, amazing feat at the Pan Am Games. And then, of course, Jillian qualifying uh, the country uh, for equestrian. Patrick having a phenomenal wake performance. Uh, and the future of our sports are all in good hands. Uh, we are a family. We need to stick together, work together. Uh, because at the end of the day, you make Bermuda proud. So I want to thank you all. Tonight is a complete recognition. I can't name you all. It will take forever. But if you've competed in any of our national events, uh, over the last two years. You're to be commended for representing your country and holding the flag of Bermuda extremely high. The officers and directors of the Olympic Association are proud of each and every one of you. Our youth development programs in great hands, uh, the Commonwealth Youth Games and the Olympic Youth Games, which was a first, uh, shows what potential this country has uh, for our senior events. So I'd like to thank you all and support you all best we can, Minister, <laughs> uh, in you all doing your journey to success, because that's what our philosophy is. So for that, I'd like to thank my officers, my directors, my staff, for the hard work that they've done putting up with me and Mr. Gashard for the last couple of years, especially Mr. Gashard. Uh, but we have all of you at heart, We'd like you all to represent this country going forward. So for me personally, I want to wish you all the very best over the Christmas holidays. Enjoy your break, because when the new year cuts in, you're all down to work and getting fit 
to try and qualify for the I have to thank our marketing team, uh, Lee Green, Mark Johnson, Earl Basin, and our newest member, Keisha Burroughs, who has just been amazing in putting this together. I think it's exciting. You're all linked to our website, uh, so there's tons of information. And as I say in every uh, General Assembly, please use this website. This is where you'll find everything and anything that you need to know going forward for qualification for what requirements are deemed necessary. We're excited and uh, I can't thank anybody enough for all their hard work. Please have a blessed and proper Christmas and New Year. God bless you all.